Thank you, Garrett. And yes, we all know the cone of uncertainty is one of the first things people look at when it comes to tropical cyclones, but there's some very important messaging points I want to drive home. As time gets closer to the event, as what we're seeing now, the cone narrows, and you'll notice with the latest updates that we've seen from the National Hurricane Center, the cone has shifted to the west a little bit, at least in terms of northeastern Florida and southeastern Georgia. That does not mean we are escaping impacts. That only gives us information about where the center of the storm is likely to go and that probability of where the center will be. So it doesn't factor in the size of the storm at all. And we, we know that Nicole is a big storm. Look at the wind field for this. Garrett just showed you this a couple minutes ago. You can see those tropical storm force winds shaded in yellow extend over 400 miles away from the center of Nicole. The white lines is the cone. You can see it's very displaced from that. So we are guaranteed to see impacts from this all the way up to the coast of southeastern Georgia, even in the Carolinas as well in the form of wind, storm surge, heavy rain, coastal flooding. And since we're on the dirty side of the storm, we will be concerned about that tornado potential, especially through the overnight hours tonight and tomorrow morning.